Welcome to this video on what is a data product, which is a somewhat controversial topic today. Uh, people are uh, very, very interested in data product management and data products in general, but we see quite a bit of swirl about the definition of a data product. So, Yuha, tell us what your opinion is on the definition of a data product. Right. Uh, well, Malcolm, the way I see it, uh, I'm not sure if this is like academically correct, but the way I see this actually kind of works is that a data product is basically a set, a kind of package of data and related components, which we manage as a single product. So it has its boundaries, it has its uh, borders that we identify. It has a single owner, it has a product owner who knows, okay, I own everything within these boundaries. And it has its identified use cases and benefits because, you know, what is a product that doesn't have any use cases? The product also has uh, input and output interfaces. So data goes in, something is done within the product, and then something uh, comes out of it. And, and this whole package is kind of defined as a single thing, self-contained uh, data product. That is how I see it, it actually working. And uh, this means that I don't really kind of m care much about the technological solutions within those boundaries. There's some sorts of components there, but the whole thing is something that we consider a product with a specified use case. Okay, you have, so I would agree with much of that. Um, I would add that uh, I think a data product is a type of digital asset, and it does have um, an owner in the legal sense. That is, somebody, uh, a, an individual or a legal entity actually has legal title to it. And it's, to me, I, I see a data product more as a single physical package of records. Uh, it can be copied and moved as a single thing. Uh, the context is described, the universe of data within it is described, the time boundaries applicable to that data are described. The data elements are defined. The record types, if there's multiple record types within it, are, are defined. Um, the somebody, a unit or a person that, that produces and supports it. Any restrictions, including like legal uh, restrictions, are described and all known issues as well. Um, so I, I think I would add those elements to the broad overview that you've given. And... Um, I would ask you if, if that's, would you agree or disagree with that? Oh, oh I, I do agree, yeah. I mean, if, you, if we consider aspects like legal ownerships and, and compliance issues and so on and so forth, I fully agree that those should be something that are uh, kind of uh, part of the definition of the data product. So they are included in the kind of... Uh, sort of bounded uh, whole that the uh, data product is. Uh, one thing, though, that I think where you and I might disagree a little bit is that I see that a data product can contain kind of multiple different uh, components of data in a way. There can be different sorts of data. It's just that it has specific kind of interfaces from which that data can be accessed, which are very well defined and very clear. But uh, I think this is more a... Uh, of a matter of preference, I would say, rather than, than of, of sort of definition uh, contradiction in a way. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with, with that. I think that there's um, a lot of variability in, in what a data product is. And absolutely, um, at some point, I think all data products have to have those characteristics. And I think this discussion has shown that the, the overall set of characteristics of a data product are rather rich, and uh, that's going to set us up uh, to go quite in depth when we come to talk about managing uh, data products and what that entails, because if a data co uh, product is a complex thing, then the management is going to require some effort. So I think with that, we probably nailed the definition at this point and explored some of the variability within that. And, um, well, um, I think we will uh, see you all in the next video. So it's goodbye from me and over to you, Yuha. Goodbye from me and see you next time with Data Product Management. Thank you. Thank you.